Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is an innuendo game of sorts, and it's called Brown Chicken Brown Cow, or Brown Chicken Brown Cow, the sculpting game of naughty innuendo. In the game Brown Chicken Brown Cow, you're going to be playing two to six players, ages 18 and up, takes about 45 minutes or so to play the game. In the game, you'll be sculpting different images based on your innuendo cards. You could be sculpting something like a bum, or maybe cracking your marbles, or how about bread and butter? After you've gone ahead and sculpted these things, you're going to make sure that the uh, players are unaware of the innuendo. is going to shuffle them up and put them on a board here and then players are going to try and guess which one of the uh, which one of the innuendo cards is based off of your sculpture players are going to score points how for however many guesses they get correct as well as players are going to score points for every guess that's correctly on their card the player with the most points at the end of five rounds is going to be the winner and that is how you play let me go ahead and show you it and explain in further and more vibrant detail all right so here's the game brown chicken brown cow and everything included in it you're going to get to two lumps of clay that is brown colored it's actually interesting because it matches my skin which can make the innuendos a little weirder for me i suppose but um voting cards for each of the players and they have one through six and one through six here on the board and of course a big stack of innuendo cards that are going to be used throughout the game and a nice stack of scoring cards i guess it goes like this huh that you can use for all five of the different rounds you can score for each of the two different phases and you got your box and you've got your rule book in the game now uh, depending on the number of players how much clay you're going to use make sure you divide it equally amongst each of the players because otherwise people are going to complain because they're going oh i only got this much clay and oh my gosh as adults you shouldn't have to worry about this Urgh! anyway so you're going to actually go ahead and let's say it's just a, a three-player game i suppose and we'll divvy it up like so and uh, each player is going to get their voting cards so we'll use these three and we'll remove the rest of them because we won't be needing them and then you're going to have the players write their names i actually did a four player game recently and uh callie zoe zach and mike these are the four we played with so we take a new one out and we go ahead and write there and uh, then we begin by giving every single player one of these innuendo cards. And there's different phases of the game. The first thing you do is draw a card, just like I showed you here. And those players are gonna look at their innuendos secretly. Okay, and these are three different innuendos here. Now the rule of the game is when you're actually sculpting, you can't actually be uh, sculpting bums or hoo-hahs or uh, uh, chest things <laughs> you can't use even those words in the game it's all about innuendos in the game so when you're sculpting you have to basically try and figure out another way to do that whether you consider it dirty or not so now that the players have this and they all have their lumps of clay they're going to then get 30 seconds to try and sculpt the best they possibly can and so this player might say okay i've got a jackhammer so maybe i'll sculpt something like like the usually i like to roll it is how i end up doing it here but a jackhammer of sorts i guess and this one's gonna have this little thing here so they, they'd be trying to draw something like that uh bumping uglies i don't know what you'd want to do i guess but what would you do for bumping uglies i don't know i guess i can just make some kind of nasty deformed looking thing here and another thing here and and then maybe make them bump i don't know maybe something like that i guess and then this one over here is uh pulling out oh <sighs> gosh <laughs> how do you figure okay um well i guess it could be uh, i don't know i don't know what you do maybe something like this and it something something like this like it's you're pulling it out. okay i don't know so after you've got us have done this you're sculpting the players are then going to try and match and they're going to take their cards here and they're then going to shuffle them up so nobody knows uh, whose card is whose and place them down on the board here. Placing it like this one and two and three and each player is gonna have their nasty looking lump of clay in front of them representing their cards and these are then going to flip over so everybody can see them. After that, each player is then going to use their voting cards and they're only gonna use uh, two of them in, in this game because you're only gonna need two. So if, in this case, he knows what he is, right? He's the jackhammer. So he's gonna try and guess based on their two. So he'll be using the numbers one and two. So he'll place one here and maybe he'll place two here secretly. The other players don't know. And these guys will do the same as well. Um, so maybe we think that this is here and oh, uh, this is here. But yeah, you're, you're getting the idea, I imagine, right? And the final guy is th then going to go and he's going to guess as well. But what's going to happen after the guessing is everybody's going to just go ahead and flip flip things over, right? You're going to flip them over. And I'll just show you here with these here. Um, 
oh no, dropping everything. But <laughs> we'll just show you here like this, okay? So in this case here, uh, this player, the yellow player, guessed that this was uh, two, which is the pulling out. They would get a point here. And the orange player guessed that this was uh, bumping uglies, and that would be incorrect because it was this one, so you wouldn't get a point. Each player is going to score one point for each correct guess on their sculpture, as well as getting one point for each guess they get correctly, okay? And uh, that's the basic idea of the game. After that happens, you're going to take these cards away and start another round, and you're going to give everybody else new cards again again additionally have <laughs> beast with two backs crack your marbles bread and butter bum and you're going to give them back their voting cards take these things shuffle them back up or mush them back up i guess since they're not really cards and play progresses again it's it's a simple game that feels kind of like dixit meets something like uh a, a dirty, molding, crafty game where you're making innuendos that aren't necessarily bad or good. But anyway, let's come up and, and talk about it. I think you get the idea of brown chicken, round cow. All right, so in my flow of gobbledygook, I managed to forget about one important aspect of the game, and that's the board here and the additional innuendo cards you're going to be putting on it. In a three-player game, you would have three cards on the board, but you'd also have three additional innuendo cards that would fill up the entire board. That way you can guess completely wrong as opposed to that 50-50, making it a little more challenging in that case, which is something we did in the game, but for some reason my mind was just not processing it at the time. But now you know, and that adds a little bit more strategy, I suppose, or a little more interesting uh, choices you'll have to make while trying to figure out which lumps of clay go to which card. Overall though, the game is a stylized version of Dixit where instead of actually guessing the story based on uh, the cards from each player, you're going to be guessing the lump of nasty innuendo that is going to be represented in each in front of each player utilizing the cards on the board. And it, it's not as challenging as I guess as you think it is, even based on my nasty looking uh, attempts at sculpting, three of them still kind of stood out as to what they're more likely going to be. Um, but it does get some, it gets interesting. And there's also a create your owns as well. And you may think you know one and then it might be wrong completely because you think the, of the innuendo of like maybe main vein and like, let's see if I can find another one, choking the chicken. If, if somebody made like a chicken with a hand over it and then somebody made like a piece of gold with like a, a line going through it for a vein, that might work. But if they tried something else, it was more... Mm, similar in style, I guess you can imagine how they could try and do something similar, then players are going to have a hard time guessing that. It's also nice though that there's a lot of little innuendo cards and they're all pretty safe. I mean, this is this is definitely an adult game. It's ages 18 and up, even though there's nothing in here that's really, that's really inappropriate that I wouldn't say on a family channel. I mean, like I said, the most most nasty it gets, I guess, is something like Love Muscle, right? Um, but overall, it's a fun little game. This is a nice little adult party game. It's something that's going to be fun for those creative crafting sculptors, people who enjoy games with a... You want to have larger amount of players in this. You don't want to be playing with three or two players, realistically. This is a four-plus game. And I would even say five and six players is the sweet spot. The last game we played was four, which was pretty good. And I had that uh, additional random cards that were put into the element, which is stuff that like Cards Against Humanity also implies. And that's a nice little touch as well. It's very easy to score and very easy to understand and very easy to learn how to play the game. And you do get enough clay to play the game with six players players, but just enough. No more would work, even though technically you could play with more players if you just add an extra space and extra voting cards. But realistically, with the amount of play you get, it's just going to be enough. Um, it's it's weird because the artwork is very, very like, it, like, the clay is really brown and poopy looking, and then you've got the board, the, the rule book, which is also brown and just shows off the clay and pictures of the game. Uh, and then it's got, of course, clay sculptures of... Uh, it looks like a brown cow and a, and a chicken, and who who knows what they're doing? It's 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 hidden off. It reminds me of something you'd probably pick up at like a thrift shop or a, or like one of the. Um, I'm trying to think of where else you'd find it. I suppose it's, you would not think of it as being one of those sculpting party games where you'd find it there. Maybe something like Etsy or whatever. Um, it's fun though. It's interesting. It's definitely one of those games I could see my my friends who are into the Cards Against Humanity or people that are interested in like the guessing games meet Dixits. If you have a little bit of the creative writers or creative uh, painters or any of those artist people, they're going to enjoy this game as long as they've got a little bit of a dirty mind. For me, I. I the dirty games just don't pull it off for me, and I'm not a big fan of Cards Against Humanity, if that tells you anything. But I do like the sculpting aspect of the game. I do like the additional, like, Dixit 
mechanics thrown into it. It made it a little bit more fun for me. It's something I actually play again and again. It's one of those games where I go, eh, it's not something I really enjoy. But every time I'm asked to play, I'll go, okay, and I'll sit down and play. And then I'll end up having a lot of fun with the game anyway. So I don't know what that tells you. But either way, I guess it could just be fun sculpting. It's the same thing as Cranium, right? But it's up to you to decide if it's something that would be interesting for you. For you, for me, it's it's right on the level. I'll, I'll, I'll play this game or these games similar to this whenever I'm asked. And I'm always going to have a good time with them. So should you pick it up? That's up to you. Figure it out. It'll be in the description below if you're interested. Brown Chicken, Brown Cow, the Dirty Naughty Innuendo Sculpting Game. Check it out. All right. I'll see you next time.